PAC TV teamed up with the Bradford House in Kingston for one of their Sunday breakfasts. As it turns out, preparing breakfast for over 100 people is no easy feat. Luckily, our staff at PAC TV got help with some of the necessary ingredients, and we helped out the Bradford House by putting it all together. This is the second year that PAC TV has done the Bradford House breakfast, um, which is done every Sunday, and it's been quite a few years since we've done it. Um, but it's a great way for us to partner with the Jones River Village Historical Society and outreach into the community. <laughs> Colleen Costa, who's the president of Jones River Village Historical Society, said, do you guys want to sponsor the breakfast? And we'd done it before, so we said, sure. And then she sent us the list, because it's kind of a daunting task to prepare breakfast to 150 to 200 people. It's a wonderful checklist. We tell them that they have to be here about 7.15. They need to bring all of the food that they're going to deliver or going to serve. We provide them with pancake mix and eggs, a coffee, tea, uh, juices and all the paper goods. And then they bring whatever they're going to make for the menu. And we also provide help with setting the tables up and uh, chafing dishes and sugar and syrup if they want it or whatever. And we will give them a quick lesson on cooking if they need it. We've got a bunch of our staff here today making wonderful breakfast. Some people are in the kitchen uh, making scrambled eggs, pancakes, French toast, and someone's on the grill. And a bunch of people are serving breakfast. It's going to be a great day. Our uh, breakfasts are held every Sunday in the summer. They're the major fundraiser for the Jones River Village Historical Society. It's usually between 100 and 125 individuals show up. And a lot of times lately we have people that are having the weekend class reunion like be 45 years, 50 years, they plan on us for their Sunday morning get-together, which is awesome. That's a, a nice New England Sunday morning event. They can view the house as part of their ticket. They can view Mary's Garden, which is part of their ticket. We also have a silent auction of items that members of the uh, society donate. We are in the process of restoring one of the uh, little cat boats uh, it was built by a man by the name of Shivrick, which is, was in the late 1800s, which is also part of our uh, endowment. Um, so it's a really a historical area. I want to thank the, uh, Carol McGilfrey and the members of PAC TV for coming to support our society in the Major John Bradford House with all of their uh, donations and their workers today. Without them, we wouldn't be able to run the house.